Hey YouTube, my name is Jeff, and welcome to episode 3 of the RetroPie Arcade Project miniseries. In the previous episode, I 3D printed the case for my RetroPie Arcade box, and mentioned that depending on how the first print came out, I would either be redesigning and reprinting the case to fix the issues, or leaving it as it is and using it how it came out. As it turns out, the case was a miracle print, and it didn't have any of the common issues I was worried about. As you can see, the case fits together beautifully without the Raspberry Pi. Since I don't need to reprint the case, it means that today's episode will be all about fitting the Raspberry Pi and Pi Glow into the case and getting it ready for the installation of the RetroPie project. Before I put the Model B Plus into the case, I need to attach the Pi Glow and make sure it's ready to integrate into the RetroPie software. In the future, I will be working on the script to make the lights sync up with the currently running emulator, but for now, I will be modifying a script to display the CPU activity on the Pi Glow with different LED values and the ability to run at startup. The Pi Glow's LEDs are very bright, which will look great when in use, even with the case assembled. The Pi Glow will not only add a visual representation of how the Raspberry Pi is running, but also provide a great aesthetic to the arcade box. As you can see, the case fits perfectly, even with the Pi Glow installed. The case is tight enough that the Raspberry Pi won't move around, but it might be worthwhile to install the screws anyways, just to make sure it stays in place if the case gets moved around. Now that I know the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Glow fit perfectly in the case, I will be installing the RetroPie operating system onto the SD card I have, grabbing a whole bunch of ROMs to test which emulators work the best, and then be doing a final showcase of the RetroPie arcade box made with a Raspberry Pi, Model B+, and a Pi Moroni Pi Glow. Be sure to stay tuned for episode 4, where I will be setting up the RetroPie project onto my Model B Plus and booting it up for use. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome 3D modeling and printing videos.